One of four patients being monitored for Ebola at Nebraska Medicine has started showing symptoms. Good evening, I'm Melissa Fry. I'm Rob McCartney. Right now, that patient is in the biocontainment unit. And KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with the latest. And Rob, doctors can't tell us much about the four individuals being monitored here at Nebraska Medicine, only that they are all healthcare workers and were exposed to the virus in West Africa. And they are anticipating a fifth patient as early as today. Now, let's give you a look at some video here. We've taken you inside the biocontainment unit before so you can see the setup. I'm told the person in there right now had a fever this morning, but biocontainment unit doctors say that person is already getting better, but they re really at this point can't tell us much else. But doctors say those other three patients remain in isolation right now somewhere on Nebraska Medicine's campus. Not only do they not leave, but they also are not allowed to, they have to stay three feet from any, any individual, including those who are actually monitoring their temperature. And so the folks from the health department, um, they don't have close contact with anyone during this time. They're essentially in, um, in an isolation state, um, but, but they are allowed, they are monitored by the health department, but they have to maintain a three-foot distance. And again, there may be a fifth person on the way to Omaha right now that may have been exposed to the virus for treatment and monitoring. But medical staff here says communication is so difficult with that part of the world that they might not know for sure exactly when that person is going to get there or even if they will end up landing in Omaha here. Even now, though, this is the most Ebola patients Nebraska Medicine has monitored at one time. And we'll have much more on that coming up tonight at 6. Back to you. All right, Christina, thanks. The American healthcare worker the group was exposed to is getting worse. That patient has Ebola and is now in critical condition at the National Institutes of Health. That's worse than he or she was yesterday. The worker contracted the virus while volunteering in a Sierra Leone treatment unit. Another healthcare worker is being monitored in Atlanta. We're following